In the nuclear power industry in particular, there's a, a broad range of hazardous environments that need maintenance and other work done. And the robotics have proven to be a very powerful tool in being able to perform this work and provide maximum safety to the workers since they no longer have to go into these hazardous environments. In a radiological environment, time is important to counteract radiation exposure. So that was the reason that the concept of Pegasus evolved. The Pegasus robot essentially does all of its work by touch. And like a spider walking on the ceiling, it puts down its feet and grips and then senses whether it's got a good grip. And it has two sets of feet that it kind of works hand over hand to walk from point to point on a set of tubes that need to be inspected. And the software that runs the robot takes these sensor readings, determines when it's safe to move and where it needs to move, and calculates a set of motions. The ROSA robot is the robot we use for heavy duty repair. So what you actually have with ROSA is the ability to weld in the generators, to machine, to actually cut tubes out of the generator and pull them out. Very strong robot, six axes robot, very much like your arm. So it has the ability to move all over with great ease very quickly. The ROSA robot is made equally strong on both ends and will actually grapple a fixture and lift itself and install itself in place and then release the fixture and pull itself inside the confined area where it has to do the inspection of the power plant. Robots are extremely good at tedious tasks. They are very important in hazardous environments where a person could be injured by doing the work. So they are very useful in those types of situations. In recent years, nuclear power has been recognized as a good way of generating power without creating greenhouse gases. We're very confident this will be a considerable contributor to clean electrical power generation in the future.